Give me some focus, cameraman. There you go. I'm gonna have to call him Bob, my imaginary cameraman. Hey Bob, zoom in Bob. Oh my goodness, I'm going crazy. Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna to chat a little bit about how I curl my hair. All right, so I'm gonna show you how I do it. Just a little disclosure. It doesn't mean that you have to do it like I do it. It's just my own way, the way I find easy to uh, curl my hair. First thing I do is wash my hair and blow dry it. I'm gonna show you the curling iron that I am using right now. And this is the Gamma Italy. I chose it because the wand has a pretty wide radius. So basically it helps you have more natural curl. I would just recommend any curling iron or curling wand or curling tool. It needs to be ceramic or something that really your hair can slide through when you, you know, when you loosen your curl uh, and it doesn't get stuck. So let me just turn this on and I'm just gonna put it like this over here over my desk while I continue talking to you guys. So if you guys watched my uh, LV Extraordinary Oil review, I was really with that one it went kind of viral on that video I said that one thing I was not going to do is use this as heat protector which is one of the claims from LV um, and honestly I kind of broke that promise I used it and it's actually a good heat protector so I kind of have to eat my words on that okay so I'm just gonna go ahead like I said put just a couple of pumps on each side and same for the other side all right so I'm just gonna get this, grab my, my entire hair and just leave the bottom layer. You take the thingy and you just clip it there. And there you go. Start at the back. I'm just gonna take small pieces about this size. And what you wanna do against all possible intuitions is go the other way, which is like this. I don't know, the first time I curled my hair was like, this should be the way to go, right? No, not really. The way to do it, I, at least for me, the only way that the curl looks the way I want is to go like this. So just grab this little piece of hair right there, and then you just want to curl it around, and then keep it there. So what I do is I sustain the tip of the hair, and I want to hold this for 20 seconds approximately. That should be enough. I'm looking at the monitor, <laughs> the time we've been recording, and that should be it. And there you go, a really nice curl. So the bigger the chunk of hair you pick, the looser the curl, okay? Um, and the more you curl it upwards, also it's gonna be like more tight. So you basically have to, you know, get a curling iron and start playing with it. You'll find your own style. So one important thing is, when I used to get very confused towards what was the direction, you know, towards my face or after my face, that was very confusing for me. So what I can tell you is you put the wand and you want to see the first piece of hair. Like imagine, if I wanted to do it towards my face, I wouldn't see the first piece because you see the, the wand, right? But if you do it like this, so first you put it between the wand and the clip and then you curl it around. Always keeping the tip right there. I'm just leaving it there for 20 seconds. One more or less, depending on your <laughs> curling iron. And release. This is more like a yoga class. In this part, it's really important that you don't burn your face, guys. I'm not even joking. Um, you see how I can put it over my desk? I think that's pretty useful. You put it right there in the little stand, 
and it doesn't burn your desk. For the other side, so there's something really important that probably nobody told you about curling your hair and getting those nice curls you see on magazines and models. The haircut. The haircut is really important to have those nice curls. Um, as you can see, I got layers. And I asked for a layered haircut and that's just perfect if you like styling your hair this way because then I don't know how to describe it but your curls look more like natural and cascading and I don't know it's just perfect why am I talking like that I don't know like accents stick on me a lot so I guess you know English not being my mother tongue I think I tend to listen really carefully how people speak like in, you know, in TV or in movies and stuff like that so I can have a better accent but <laughs> the problem with being like that is that I, if I talk to someone who speaks like British English it kind of sticks on me and I speak really funny for a bit it happens to me with Spanish as well is that weird? does that happen to you? I'm gonna release the top layer now. We're almost there, guys. I, I'm actually gonna leave at the front if you really wanna do it right. So I'm gonna leave that up just for the very end, if you don't mind. The top layer for me, I want curls that start at the very root. So I'm just getting as close to the roots and to the scalp close as it safely is possible. Oh, that's looking nice, isn't it? So this part of the hair is kind of the most important one because it's the one that's at the front. What you want to do is take like bigger checks so that it's going to look more natural, I think, in my experience. Ooh, crazy hair. And this you want to curl differently. These I like to curl like this. Ouch, grip all your hands. And then you release. And you see it kind of goes up and then it goes in the back. And there you go. And the last piece for the bangs, as you can see, is a bigger chunk. I'm gonna put this up for some reason. I'm right-handed and on this side I have to do it differently. I don't know why. That's just my limitation. So you see that I got that whoop. And then I'm curling it backwards like that. I have one of those. Alright, so there you go. That's done as far as the curling iron. So I'm just going to turn it off and leave it in a safe area away from children that I don't have but I have my little fairy baby Lola so um, away from Lola so that she doesn't get burned that's that's kind of the final look for my curls let me see if I can like show you how it looks hopefully you like them I'm gonna take this one more time through each hair chunk last thing I'm gonna do is add little hair spray your curls and we're almost done that's it 
So I'm sorry that was kind of an abrupt ending to my tutorial, but someone was at the door. <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other requests and I will talk to you again very soon on my next video. Bye! Look at there, so very simple. Where is it? <laughs>